A key to running pain-free is understanding the five key facts about your body's design. Key fact number one, you were designed to be symmetrical. Stand in front of the mirror and take this quick symmetry test. Close your eyes, wiggle your arms and legs back and forth and land in your most natural standing position, and then open your eyes. Is one shoulder higher than the other? They should be level, but many times one is higher. Look down at your hands. Do you see knuckles? Proper posture would denote that you should only be able to see the thumb and the side of the index finger. If you see knuckles on one hand, or if you see more knuckles on one hand than the other, then that's a sign of asymmetry. Now look down at your feet. Are your toes pointed straight ahead, or is one foot turned out? And is one foot placed more in front of the other? These are all signs of asymmetry that can be the cause of an ache or a pain. That's the bad news. The good news is it's very fixable. The number two key fact about your body's design is that you were designed to move in three planes of motion. The first plane of motion is the straight plane front to back in what we call the sagittal plane. You're also designed to move side to side in what we call the frontal plane. And you're designed to move in rotation in what we call the transverse plane. Of those three key planes of motion, the most important one is the twisting or rotational plane. This is where you spend a majority of your time when you play or work or run. The three key areas you're designed to rotate are your ankles, your hips, and your mid-back or thoracic spine. And where we're seeing a lot of rotational injuries occur are the knees, the low back, and the shoulder. So if your ankles are a little stiff and don't rotate normally, it just pushes that rotational force to your knees. And if your hips are a little tight because you tend to walk with your toes turned out, that rotational force goes down to your knees or up to your low back. This can be the cause of injury. That's the bad news. The good news is it's very fixable. The number three key fact about your body's design is that muscles only learn the lessons we teach them. If we want muscles to function with our foot on the ground, like when we're running, then we want to be able to strengthen them with our foot on the ground. A key to pain-free running is to master the squat and the lunge. Exercises that have you lay down to strengthen your legs do not transfer to proper running form. The number four key fact about your body's design is that pain is not inevitable. I have a lot of runners come to me and say, my left knee started to hurt, but I think I just trained too hard last time. And I'll say to them, does your right knee hurt as well? Because I'm pretty sure they both went out for that run. Asymmetrical aches and pains come on not because of age or ancestry or gender, but because of asymmetry, and that is very fixable. And the number five key fact about your body's design is that it's almost always about the butt. That's right, the biggest muscle of your body, called the gluteus maximus, positioned just behind your center of gravity. Center of gravity is where all the forces come and act on a movement system, and then the force get dissipated out. So when you're running and 11 times your body weight comes rushing through, that big muscle is supposed to dissipate that force. Take this little test to see if your glutes are working. Stand with your feet hip-width apart, toes pointed straight ahead, and tighten your left gluteal muscle as tight as you can and hold it for six seconds. Then relax and try to tighten the right one and hold it for six seconds. Are those the same? If they're not, that could be the cause of an ache or a pain. When the biggest muscle of your body doesn't come to play, it's the little tiny muscles that pay the price. Respecting your body's design will help you keep on track with your training.